Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is a morning market prep video for Wednesday, February 9th, 2022. Yesterday, we had a little technical improvement in the di diamonds chart with a surge upward and little higher lows setting up in all four of the indexes. However, we still have some concerns out there to be paying attention to, but the bulls are pushing hard this morning, um, all fueled up on earnings, um, earnings results. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the hump day edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here today. I do truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts, see if we can gain some information about how we might want to approach the market today. First off, we had a really nice little surge here yesterday in the diamonds, placing a higher low in the chart and holding on to this price support in here in that level. Now, we also pushed up and we tested the 50-day moving average, um, trying to uh, break that level. But let's take a look at what that looks like. Uh, notice that we're gapping up this morning on earnings results, and we are going to be gapping up right into a fairly significant level of price resistance. Now, we know we've seen this many times before, uh, particularly recently, where we can gap up in the morning, and that can produce a pop and drop. It could also uh, produce a pretty substantial whipsaw. So watch that carefully as we um, approach these resistance levels in the Dow chart. And keep in mind that we still have that CPI number coming in on Thursday. So that little bit of uncertainty could be out there. But we've got that bullishness going here this morning, kind of fueled up on earnings reports. And we also had um, a, a report from uh, JP Morgan that is really really trying to promote the market higher. Now, I'm not saying that they're not right, but just keep in mind it's also kind of self-serving when uh, big institutions do that. So watch that carefully. We want to make sure that we um, are not chasing this move to the upside and realizing there could be entrenched bears up here to defend. Let's take a look at that technical chart. Notice this morning with this gap up this morning, we're going to gap above that 50-day moving average. But I also want to point out that we've done that before where we've pushed above that 50-day moving average and then we retreated directly from there. And the reason I bring that up is tomorrow we have that CPI number that could most definitely be substantially market moving. If that CPI number continues to come in hot, that could also create that reversal back down. So just make sure you pay attention to that um, as we push up into this level. And the other reason that I think that's important, we have the diamonds looking so bullish here, but let's take a look at the SPY. Now, SPY certainly did create this higher low in the market, and I think that is important. But let's take a look here overall in the chart. As we push up here, we're pushing up into a very significant price resistance level in the SPY. And notice that we're trying to break that downtrend here in the chart. So we have that extra resistance of that potential downtrend coming into play. And then we add in the fact that we still have a 50 day moving average above and our shorter term moving averages have crossed down. So the SPY has a lot more technical work to, uh, to complete. And that kind of puts us in that position where we could see you know that pop and drop or um, that failure up here around the 50-day moving average so watch that closely as we push to the upside one of the things we don't want to be doing is buying stocks at price resistance in the market that could be a problem um, where we catch that um, reversal um, right there at those levels so be careful and then let's take a look at our QQQ now QQQ is even in a worse position overall notice right in here on the QQQ we have made a higher low in the chart but oh my goodness if we back this thing up and we draw in the downtrend on that chart we're pushing up to test that downtrend and if you look across this level in here we have a tremendous amount of price resistance in this chart above um, in the QQQ chart. So keep that in mind as we push up into this area that could be a little bit 
uh, well, it would be the exact place that you would expect the Bears to uh, set up a line of defense. So watch that carefully in the chart. And with that CPI number coming tomorrow morning, you know, anything is possible on that number. Now, if we take a look at those technicals in the chart, let's notice here that what we're doing in this push up here this morning, all we're doing is pushing up toward the 200 day resistance and all that price action in the chart. So once again, I gotta say, not exactly a bullish pattern here in the QQQ. Even though the diamonds are showing lots of strength and may um, eventually help draw the market up a little bit, let's keep in mind that the Dow is just 30 stocks. We have 500 in the S&P 500 and we have a weaker index there. We have 100 in the NASDAQ 100 that um, showing tremendous weakness still and downtrend. So just keep that in mind. Don't get sucked into the idea that everything is rosy here in the market. It is improving and that is a good sign, but don't get the idea that we're just going to tear or rip the face off of the bears here and uh, go all the way back up because that just really doesn't look um, technically possible just yet. Keep in, keeping in mind that our 20 day moving average is crossed down through the 200 and notice our 34 EMA is pushing down there and the next day or two is likely going to cross down through that 200 day as well. So watch that close. And then if we take a look at our Russell, well, IWM, just has an awful lot of work. Yes, we put in a higher low in this chart, but let's keep in mind we still have a downtrend here in this chart to deal with. The shorter term downtrend we have broken here yesterday to the upside, but let's notice we have price resistance in the chart that we're going to be testing here this morning, trying to bounce through that level. And then if you pull this chart back, we just have a brick wall of price resistance above to be thinking about here in the Russell. So, um, you know, we've got three of our indexes not showing um, a whole lot of bullishness yet. They are improving, but also showing tremendous risk if as we push to these resistance levels. And then keep in mind, we have our 50 crossing down through our 200 day moving average. So technically um, IWM is still by far the weakest of the indexes and shows tremendous danger as we push back to the resistance level in the chart. Let's take a look at our VIX. Now our VIX did pull back yesterday and that was nice to see. Our VIX did have a little bit of rest. In fact, it kind of accelerated right there at the end of the day pulling back, which means we're, we came down in here and we tested this um, uptrend pretty hard. We're holding still above that 20 handle here in the chart. If I put some lines across here, this is going to be kind of an important level. Um, 20 is just one of those big support um, resistance levels in the VIX. So keep an eye on that. But as we um, push down and break down this trend, we'll want to watch for some price support levels in here around that 20 area to see if we happen to bounce. So it is a good sign seeing that volatility dropping out here or the fear, I should say, dropping out a little bit. Price volatility still remains very high. So keep an eye on that. And then let's take a look at our T2122. Now our T2122 gave us that clue early on yesterday that we had more, more um, advancing issues than we did declining issues and that kind of held up throughout the day. We had a little whipsaw there in the toward the end of the day where I think everyone was wondering, oh my goodness, um, are we going to have another repeat of Tuesday where we move up and then sell it all back off at the end of the day, but it reversed and held up. And if you take a look here on T. Uh, 2122. Um, that bullishness that we see this morning, the big gap up, I wouldn't rule out the possibility here, guys, that we will be up here in the bearish rever um, reversal zone this morning. And if we continue to press to that upside, just kind of keep in mind, we're going to be up here really close to that area. And we've seen this before, right? We push up in here, we may linger there for just a little bit and then reverse. And what could reverse us? Well, 
How about um, Russia invading the Ukraine? That could reverse us in a heartbeat. How about we have some disappointing earnings results? We know we've had plenty of those this season. That could reverse us. We also know that we have that big CPI number and inflationary reading that we're going to have to pay attention to today, or, or I mean tomorrow morning, that certainly has that potential uh, to be a big market mover. So just kind of keep that in mind and plan your risk carefully as we press up into that bearish reversal zone here in T2122. And then let's take a look at our T2108. T2108 did catch some improvement yesterday and that was nice to see. So we got up here around 32, 33% of our stocks got above that 50 day moving average. Um, so that's looking good here coming up, but let's also keep in mind, oh my goodness, we've got a lot of price resistance in this chart, still moving in this downtrend. So we still have a lot of work before we really start to see these technicals turn around. And T2107 also, um, saw a nice improvement yesterday, uh, picking up 31% of our stocks above the 200 day moving average. But we wanna also keep in mind, we've got tremendous overhead resistance in this chart and lots of work yet to do before this improves that technical pattern on um, T2107. So improvement, nice, that's wonderful, but is it enough to really give us that warm and fuzzy that the all clear has been sounded? And when I look at the technical patterns and the internals of this market, I don't think it's quite there yet. It is improving, but I think we're still gonna have to stay on our toes and watch carefully for those potential reversals. Let's take a look at our T2101. Now T2101 did pull back yesterday, so that is bullish. I gotta give that one to the bulls. Um, that market breadth just pulling back a little bit. We usually see that when the market is bullish and pushing up. Notice we have some support area in this chart, so we'll wanna watch that closely. If we were to bounce off of that, that could be a problem for us. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. Now our economic calendar does have just a little bit that we need to pay attention to today. It's a little bit of a light calendar, honestly. We've got the petroleum status and we know petroleum has been, oil has been hugely strong. And yesterday it caught just a little bit of a resting pullback finally. But um, the, um, um, energy sector. In fact, XLE is the strongest sector in the Spider Select ETFs and has been for some time um, showing lots and lots of bullishness. And the second strongest would be the um, um, energy exploration um, and refining area of the market. That has been the second strongest of the Spider Select sectors. So kind of keep an eye on that number today. That could be important if we see a surprise build in supplies that could certainly pull back those oil prices. If we happen to see a surprise decline in supplies that could um, certainly continue to support that oil sector and move up. Now it's going to take a pretty substantial miss in that number to really move oil a lot and I think the reason that is is because um, there is that major concern out there of Russia invading Ukraine and that's likely going to keep prices higher, that stress level, keeping prices higher as long as that continues. Notice we have a couple of Fed speakers here today and I think this might be an interesting one today. Yesterday the 10-year bond pushed um, up to 1.96% um, in, in that price, the, those 10 year bonds and 30 year bonds continue on a rise. Now they're getting a little bit of a break this morning, pulling back here a bit, only about three basis points each. But we wanna keep an eye on this because as this auction goes off, it'll be interesting to see um, whether or not that has a major impact on those bonds. And just keep in mind, as those bonds continue to rise, that's gonna to continue to put pressure here on lots of things in the market. So watch those close. And then remember, as you're planning forward, uh, today is gonna to be one of those days where it's going to try and get people to, well, there'll probably be a lot of knee-jerk reactions. I've gotta hurry up 
and buy a bunch of things. But I want you to think about that carefully and think about that risk carefully. And remember, we've got those jobless claims and CPI number coming in Thursday morning. And right now, the consensus estimate is suggesting our CPI is going to increase um, to 7.3% year over year, so a new high. And that could have negative impacts on the market as that continue, if that happens, that continues to pressure the FOMC to pump up those rates. And they may be looking at a possible 50 basis point rise. I think the market is pricing in about a 40% chance right now of a 50 basis point increase um, in March. So that could have a negative effect on the market if that number comes in hot. So watch that carefully. And as you plan forward, remember, that's going to be before the bell. Not much you can do about it. It'll just kind of happen to us. So make sure you're um, protecting yourself in this market. Let's take a look at our earnings calendar. Now our earnings calendar is busy, busy, busy today. And um, today I was able to get the blog taken care of. So if you take a look um, at the link just below the title of the video, that will take you back where you can look at the full list of companies that will be uh, reporting the notables anyway for today. Um, one year I think you're gonna wanna pay attention to for sure is Disney. Disney could be an interesting report. Remember last time at Disney disappointed pretty heavily and and I wonder I wonder how the consumers are feeling right now um, um, with all of these prices going up and folks having to spend a lot more of their disposable income in just um, um, fuel prices um, heating and housing and uh, food and when that happens they may start pulling back or continue to start pulling back on some of these subscription services so keep an eye on this this could be an important one remember Disney in a major downtrend here we need something positive in here to get it moving to the upside so watch that one closely today it could be very interesting we're also going to hear from um, CME CME will be reporting looks like we're getting a little pop and drop here on the pre-market on CME. We've got O'Reilly. O'Reilly will be reporting today. Looks like it's trying to head up. We're going to hear from Mattel. Mattel, watch that one today. We had Hasbro report a couple of days ago and they disappointed. So keep an eye on that. That might be interesting. We're going to also hear from um, Uber today. Keep an eye on Uber. We've got some casinos in there with like MGM reporting. We'll want to watch that. MGM has been shooting up toward earnings here. That could be an interesting report today. Um, so watch that carefully. And um, TWLO might be an interesting one to pay attention to. It's been in an ugly downtrend here, as you can see. But um, that would be an important report if it can hold some price levels in here. That could be an important report. So with that, everyone, again, if you want to catch the full list of notables, make sure you click that link just below the title of the video. That'll take you back to the morning blog and you can catch that full list. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, if you guys could do me a quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful and helpful in your plan, for the day. If you could also click that thumbs up button and leave a brief comment, that helps the channel to continue to grow. In fact, it's really uh, almost the most important thing, the way the algorithm works, um, whether people are corresponding or reacting to the video. So thank you everyone who does take the time to do that. I truly, truly appreciate it. And um, I also want to say uh, thank you to everyone who does um, share this video out on your social media feed. And for those folks that continue to support the channel through the Buy Me a Coffee link just below the title of the video, you guys are awesome. I do truly appreciate that. That helps out an awful lot. And there's going to be some changes to the channel here soon, as I've been mentioning. I'll be announcing some live events on YouTube. So watch carefully for those announcements. So with that, guys, let's take a look at some of these stocks setting up. And one I have to bring up, probably one of the best of the big technicals right now or the big techs is Apple let's take a look Apple has a really nice pattern here in the chart notice we're holding higher lows here in this chart 
We're back above our 50 day moving average. We've broken that downtrend and this is a very bullish pattern here in Apple. Now, unfortunately, the way the market is moving, it's also kind of a high risk trade because our stop loss has to be quite a ways away from that move. But Apple's showing lots and lots of strength here and let's keep a close eye on that. That's a nice uh, technical chart here um, overall in Apple. Now, on the other side of the coin, um, I did a class last Last night about making sure you have a little bit of a mix um, in the market. Let's take a look here at Microsoft. Microsoft is pushing up this morning, but I got to tell you, it's really not all that impressive just yet with a big level of resistance up here. So you might want to be thinking about having a little bit of long in the market and a little bit of short in the market at the same time. Now today, when we're gapping up and pushing up hard, that may be an opportunity to pick up some low risk entry short positions. So keep an eye on some of those. We have a mix of, uh, you may want to have a mix of things in the market in case we happen to whipsaw tomorrow with that CPI number. Um, you might want to take a look at BBBY. Now, BBBY, I have to admit that um, I am in this trade, so I'm a little biased on this position. It's still got some work to do. Notice that BBBY has been in an ugly little downtrend here um, well, not even little, a big downtrend here in the chart, but we've recently started to move up. We broke through some resistance levels. We're holding higher lows. My entry into this trade was on that candle right there, and we're pushing up in that chart. So I would keep an eye on that. Um, BBBY has a little upside potential. I don't think this is going to be just rip it to the upside, making tons and tons of money. As a matter of fact, when I approach that downtrend resistance level, probably going to take profits on the trade. So I won't be staying with long trades all that long um, in this market as the volatility is still pretty high, particularly as we approach resistance levels in the index charts. Um, other charts that you may want to be keeping an eye on, there's quite a few out there that have just been looking pretty darn good. Take a look at BMY. Now BMY, um, I've had this in the report here for a while and notice that we broke this trend, we broke this trend right in here and we broke that support level in the chart. And if you look at that, what, what has happened since that period of time is we have recovered that. So we break down, recover, and then hold that higher low. So this is where we resume the upside trend. So I was watching this and this broke out looking pretty good here to the upside. Keep a close eye on BMY, looking good in there. You might also want to take a look. We had some kind of interesting moves here in some retail um, uh, yesterday. Um, we know KSS is still involved in um, this takeover bid here, and, but KSS is moving back up and trying to look pretty good in that trade. And I was seeing some moves in like GPS coming off of the bottom. We saw several of those patterns that were starting to pick up where we had been sold off pretty hard. We've been building these bottoms in here. Macy's trying to move up here. Might be worth keeping an eye on a chart like that um, if you're looking for a place for an entry. And then I think um, some of these pay systems, take a look at Visa. Visa pulling back, breaking that downtrend. We've had that resting pullback here in Visa pulling back. Now we may be resuming this upside trend, setting that higher low in there. I'd keep an eye on Visa, maybe AXP. You might want to see more of a resting pullback in this before you jump on that one. But MasterCard has been in that pullback mode here. So watch that in here for that opportunity here in MasterCard for that potential upside to continue after that rest. And I'm going to continue to throw in some charts like VMW. Now, VMW, we are approaching this resistance level in this chart. So watch that one closely. This is a very big price resistance in VMW. So watch that carefully. You may want to wait and see how we deal with that resistance before getting involved in this one at this point. Um, and I still like um, 
this VALE. It's been moving up nicely in this trend, looking very, very good. This trend doesn't seem like it's ready to end just yet. I would expect a little rest or pullback to come in that chart at any time, but there's a few charts for you to look at, and there certainly are a lot of others out there trying to put in some bottoms, pressing toward those downtrend resistance levels. So watch them carefully if they can start to break through and hold higher lows. Um, uh, you know, some defensive sector stocks are continuing to look good. Take a look at Coke. Um, still looking good. Any resting pullback would set up an opportunity there. So there are a lot of good charts out there setting up and looking good. Volatility is high. You're going to have to be really careful with some of this data coming our way. But that being said, there are long trades and there are plenty of short trades as well. So everyone, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great results in your trading and I'll see you right back here bright and early Thursday morning. I wish you all the best.